I'm Vinay Gaba, and I work as an engineer at Airbnb focused on Android. I work on a team that builds and maintains our UI infrastructure and design systems, and we aim to make our front-end engineering more efficient. Airbnb was born in 2007 and has since grown to over 4 million hosts that have welcomed over a billion guests across almost every country in the globe. Compose brings declarative first development to Android and allows you to decouple the UI toolkit from the operating system, which makes it super easy to get improvements at a regular cadence. It reduces the amount of context switching a developer has to do, allows one to define UI in Kotlin, which is a developer favorite language, and really allows you to focus on building experiences that are unique. As we were thinking about adopting Compose, we wanted to make sure that we keep our host and guest community at the center of every decision. With the intuitive and powerful APIs for animation that Compose exposes, we were able to create unique experiences that really delight our users. In addition, because it requires significantly less code, we are able to keep our app size in check. This is super critical for our users that either use older devices or are in countries where data is super expensive. As an engineering organization, we've prioritized commitment to craft to focus on a couple things. First, we want to lay sound technical foundations that foster innovation across the organization. And second, we want to make sure that we empower our engineers with the right set of tools so that they can do the best work of their life. Compose enabled both these goals and continues to be a really critical part of our technical strategy. We are investing heavily in making sure all parts of our Android infrastructure can support Compose. Jetpack Compose will continue being a very critical pillar of how we build Android apps. Jetpack Compose allows you to test your UI in isolation and in a deterministic manner. This was something that wasn't always possible, and these are the efficiencies that Compose brings to our testing infrastructure. The biggest problem with testing is often flaky tests, and that has historically been a problem for us. With Compose, the tests are more deterministic because it gives you precise control of the test clock. This also not only makes the test more reliable, but also allows you to test animations that we've never been able to do in the past. This gave us a lot more confidence about the testing that we were doing with our Android apps. Compose reduces the context switching and simplifies the development workflow for our engineers. It allows you to develop the same feature set with significantly less code. Less code also means relatively better build times, which are often the biggest pain point for any engineer. All these reasons were why we were excited about adopting Compose. It was really easy to introduce Compose in our code base. The intuitive interoperable APIs that Compose exposes makes it trivial to use Compose in existing features without the need to actually rewrite or migrate screens to using Compose. So I started working on Android back in 2011, especially with the introduction of Compose. It's reignited my passion for Android. 